going to um, just jump in on you know, my broadcast on SBC TV. Um, I kind of walked you through the process. You know, I'm from Turkey for the last few weeks and then how you landed here today and your mindset coming in. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I was in Turkey for like five months. That was my first time overseas. And um, I was playing well, just had some um, – some communication issues with the team, so I decided to come back, and um, I was just kind of just kind of figured out, just at home, chilling, enjoying being back home. And um, these guys, I played with Erie Bayhawks last year, and a lot of these guys are um, front office and coaches here. So we met with them at the Hawks facility, and they had a lot of nice things to say about me and my game, and me as a person and player. And I just felt like I couldn't stay at home and not do anything. So um, it's a rare opportunity. Um, in this business to be at home and kind of playing for a team is, is not normal. So I jumped on it. RJ, you said things were going well in Turkey. Do you feel like, you know, your game has improved? And if it has, you know, how and how can that translate to your? Yeah, I learned how to play over there. Like, it's a different game. Um, it's very slowed down and they're very quality over quantity as far as um, the offensive end and taking great shots. So I definitely learned a, a different angle of the game and want to apply that here because I know it's a lot of, um, guys chasing their stats and guys trying to get to another level, which is fine. But um, I think it's a lot of good players here. And um, if we can kind of shore up the quality of the G League, I think um, more people will start to respect it. What are the, the big goals for you? I mean, I mean, a lot of people in town here know your story coming out of Georgia State. Uh, what are the big goals Is it get, to get back to the NBA? And do you feel like that's still a goal that's on the table? Yeah, of course. Um, I always believe in my talent, and this life is very short, and I'm, of course, going to attack my dream. But um, if not, man, like, it, I'm just playing basketball. Like, I get so caught up in this job and this business that I don't really realize what I'm doing. And I'm playing the game that I love for a living. I'm at home. My family is coming tonight to see me play. So I'm just going to take it one step at a time, continue to believe in myself, and we'll take it from there. What do you feel like as you kind of – you know, learn the game and learn more in Turkey. Can you kind of look back at the earlier time, either in the G League or, or the time in the NBA, and say, okay, this is what was standing between me and, and success at that level? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I had a lot of time to reflect over there because there's nobody, there's no family, there's no one you can wake up and talk English to. My girlfriend came two months later, but <laughs> the first two months, like, it was a lot of self-reflecting, and um, I self-reflected on a lot of my possessions from my rookie year, second year, third year, fourth year, a lot of film, so... Um, less of critiquing and more of just like watching the development of myself. Um, what, what's that going to be like seeing uh, seeing the family here in the crowd and seeing probably a lot of familiar faces, you know, on the court with you? Awkward. I think it's going to be awkward. Like, <laughs> yeah, like me just driving from my house to the game today was extremely weird. Like usually you're in an apartment that the team set you up in. I kind of just like woke up, ate my breakfast, got my car and came here, which is, it feels like college kind of, but um, – it's very comfortable, and um, I'm fine with that. What are your thoughts on the uh, the arena, the new arena here? Uh, yeah, it's nice. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I didn't. I've been in Atlanta for like seven years. I've never even heard of this place. Yeah. But yeah, it's really nice. Good lighting. Nice. It's a shooter's gym too, which I wasn't expecting. RJ, you left your mark at Georgia State, all-time leading scorer. Obviously, we are all familiar with the moment over Baylor in the tournament. First round pick from Boston back in '15. Can you talk a little bit about your journey and what's led you to here and kind of your expectations? Yeah, so um, I won't give you, like, the Wikipedia year-by-year breakdown, but, um, yeah, I've been in G League. This is probably my third and a half, fourth year playing G League. Um, I was at Boston one year. They cut me my second year training camp. was with the Bulls for a little bit. Um, Did a couple stints with the Rockets. I was two-way with the Rockets, and – Honestly, why I came back is G League has just been uh, a great opportunity for me. Like, I was kind of no man's land and nowhere to go, no team to play on. And um, each year I played in G League, I got myself a two-way and kind of kept my name in and kept myself in it. So um, what I've learned about this business is what works for you, you got to keep going back to. And um, this has worked for me, and I'm just going to somehow, some way, just keep grinding away, take it a day at a time, and um, just keep playing. I don't I don't even know where to go from here. Like, all my expectations and goals have just kind of been thrown all over the place. So, I'm just going to keep getting better. And you're joining a team 17 and 15, fighting for a playoff spot, second in the division. What part of your game do you think can really translate and help them make a playoff push? 
Um, I think just IQ and consistency. Uh, these guys are extremely talented. I've played against almost all of them and uh, know a lot of them from Cat who's an extremely good shoot, uh, scorer, to Jordan, who's a great shooter, to uh, Taj, who does a lot of things on the court. Um, a lot of respect for all the guys in there. So I'm not going to come in and, like, hey, guys, I'm home from G State five years ago. I'm here to <laughs> fucking get to it. Like, I just want to play the game and um, watch and see where I can fit in and figure it out. Okay, so I recently saw you at a Golden State Kings game last week. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about the team this year against them? They're really good. Um, I don't think they've lost at home, correct? Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, no, nah, really good. And their coach has been um, um, extremely forward in trying to get in communication with me and my dad. So they have all the support from us. Um, they look good. I know a lot of the guys there still. The crowd was good. Atmosphere was good. Vibe was good. I was watching it with Harold, too, actually. So we were up there like a couple of OGs, like, even though we're like 25. But, um, yeah, it was good to see. It was good to be back. Does it, does it give you an idea if you can play tonight? I mean, just one day in, um, like ready to go, or is it going to take a whole bunch? Yeah, of I think I'm good. I had to submit like some online paperwork, which I'm horrible with, which is why I left school. But uh, I think it got in, so I'm good. Are there any takeaways you learned from being on the team? Yeah, um, off the court, just um, how normal life is in other places where you wouldn't expect. Because um, I remember USA and Turkey were kind of in this the middle of the beef, like when I was over there and my family was texting me and calling me and like, yo, you all right? I'm like, I'm chilling. Like everybody here isn't tripping. So just kind of the eye opening of accepting different cultures and um, trusting yourself when you don't have anybody to talk to or communicate with. What are some things that you like to add to your team? Um, just whatever I can. Um, trying to get to the playoffs, of course. I missed the opportunity last year because I switched teams. Um, but again, I'm I don't have a lot of expectations. I'm just going to try to be present, see where the openings are, where they need help, and try to fill that void. Thanks, guys. Thank cool. you.